Luli, 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 luli. Uh, so now, how did you find that? How did you find that? Well, I added the ratios. Okay. Okay, so you added the ratios. So that is 3 plus 4, which gave you a 7, right? Yeah. So now, how did you, did you determine now that that I eat? That you just told me about. Since Taonga has four twin streets, uh -huh. and uh, Tawonga has none, oh, I cross multiplied and Sorry? Uh, I, I wasn't saying anything. Okay, I, I see. Multiplied every... Okay, so what you're trying to say is... uh, well, 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 Okay. Beautiful. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Now, what, what you need to understand is these guys were actually sharing who are sharing the money in the ratio three to four. Three to four. That's the mm -hmm. ratio. So now there was a total amount of money. And from the total amount of money, Tawonga walked away with 420. So now, if, if you're saying that the total amount of money which they shared between themselves was 80 kwacha, no, five hundred <laughs> quarters. <laughs> what are you saying? If it's a it, then is it making sense really? Um, if if Tawonga walked away with, with four twenty, how possible is it that the four twenty came from a it quarter? It's not making sense, right? No, I mean, I mean Tawonga got four twenty. The other got eighty, but the the share in the total the share is five hundred. Whoa, okay. So basically what I want you to 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 determine is the total amount of money which was there in the first place before Taonga walked away with a four twenty. So now <clears throat> you did want to add the ratios, mm -hmm. then how do you resolve? How do you determine the total amount of money? So for you to find this 420, you have to go back. It's like they've given you the answer and the steps have actually been omitted. They just give you the answer. So now for you to determine the share of Tahonga, you, you pick a higher ratio. And then at the bottom, you write the total of the two ratios. Okay. Then if you want to to determine how much she, she walked away with, you will need to multiply these ratios by the total amount of money which was there. So now the total amount of money will be here. And after you multiply by that, we should have the answer for 20. That's the equation which ought to be there. So now, until you to listen and listen, girl. We don't know the total amount of money which was there. So the fact that we don't know, we are going to write X. So X denotes that which we don't know. So we can multiply out these, these now. Introduce the one here. Multiply 3 by X. It's going to be 3X over 7 times 1. That's a 7, which is equal to 420. Now, this takes us back. This takes us back to grade seven work, right? <laughs> grade seven work. Mm -hmm. No, not even grade seven work. That's grade eight work. Where you deal with uh, algebraic fractions. So here, introduce a one. 
how do you get rid of the fractions you cross multiply right so one times three x that will be three x which is equal to seven times four twenty seven times four twenty that gives us two thousand nine hundred forty two thousand nine hundred forty and then it has boiled down to linear equations in one unknown variable how then do we find the answer we say three then that side a three a three out a three out we remain with x which is equal to so now when you divide the three into 2940 that's 980. so initially there was 980 quach from the 980 quacha this one walked away with 420 and we can prove that we can prove that it's just a matter of so if you're given the total amount of the things that were shared among people or between two people you simply say okay just just what you did three on top and then you add the ratios then multiplied by 980. are we really going to find the answer so now when you multiply out that nine times or oh, three times 980 three times 980. oh my god Three times 980, that's uh, 2,940. That's what on top. That's what is on top. So here we have, we still have a seven. So we introduce a one. Seven times one, that's seven. Seven into 2,940. That's 420. Mm -hmm. It's giving us what we were given in the first place. So now, if we were asked, so I'm just going extra miles to actually open your mind that, so that you begin to see how these things are done. But we've already found the answer. Now, what was the share that Tawona, Tawona walked away with? So since we already know the total amount of money, we can now say 4 over 7 times the total amount of money, which was there. That was 980 is equal to introduce a one. So we can now multiply four times uh, four times nine eighty and that gives us three thousand nine hundred twenty over seven. So that's answered that by seven. That is five sixty. So this one walked away with five sixty watcher the friend walked away with 420 and it's making sense because this one had the bigger ratio is it that the ratio is in yeah. yeah so when we add 560 to 420 it gives us 980 and we're done but the answer they wanted us to find is this one here the total amount of money so that's how we do it baby you can quickly copy that. Done.